So we about to do a bottle glass boat, boat ride. And um, we're on our way, walking there. Now we're on the boat. Huh? Oh, there's no, there's no seats up here. Located underneath all these white benches here in the salon, we're on the top as well as those white benches topside on either side of that stairway. The of they the are clearly marked for adult and child. However, if you are unfamiliar with that Donna life jacket and would like a demonstration, feel free to speak to a crew member. However, there are illustrated placards on how to don a life jacket, as well as our emergency checklist for procedures such as men overboard, fire at sea, and hazardous sea conditions, posted in two locations. One is located topside in front of that snack bar, and the other is here in the salon in the rear wall. The crew is here for your safety, and we have the train to those emergency procedures, as well as first aid and CPR. If you do have any questions or concerns, though, please don't hesitate to speak with either Kyle or myself. Additional safety equipment consists of four fire extinguishers. It is. One is located. We gotta go to the front. Captain. One behind the snack bar with us. The we gotta get the front. Here in the salon, one on their rear wall, and the other to the left of the bow door. We also have float off life rafts topside above that aluminum canopy, as well as two throw rings with lifelines attached. One is located on the starboard side of the wheelhouse, which is our right side as you're looking forward. The other is on the port side of the stern, which is the left to rear side of the vessel. Now please feel free to move about as you wish. We only ask that you take advantage of those hand railings, especially on the stairs, as they are very steep. And since we have children on board, we require adult supervision at all times. We do not allow any running. Or climbing on the railings or benches. This could lead to a very serious injury or even result in your child. That little overboard. thing up there. So, for your child's safety, you they must have your adult supervision at all times. Well, they gotta get out the way. As mentioned earlier, there is a snack bar topside. We sell various snack items corn dogs, soft pretzels, pizzas, cheeseburgers, other kinds of snacks, candies, slushies.
rise in, take a few deep breaths. If that helps, continue to look back down. If that does not help you, please. Come on. They're not refundable though, so if you use it, please don't try to give them back to us. It's molasses Reef, guys. We're on Molasses Reef. It's about a little over seven mile vacation property to it. So these aren't expensive magnifying glass. This is just normal plexiglass. Uh, oh, midnight parapet here in the back window. We guys see that third one blue fish with the crazy spots on his head? That is a midnight parrotfish. Oh, and there was a rainbow parrotfish right next to him. Does anybody know what parrotfish do out here? They are the busiest workers and probably one of the most important fish we have out here on this reef. I'm here in the Keys. Nobody? Oh, I highly recommend it, guys. This is the diving capital of the world. You get it. Yes, these are some remains of, um, so it's not exactly a shipwreck. So what do these uh, things look like to you guys? Anybody want to guess? You've seen them before. These are railroad steel beams. So in the early 1920s, Henry Flagler was building a railroad from Miami to Key West. Um, now, his, one of his cargo vessels ran aground out here, and in order to get off the reef, they threw over a lot of those steel beams and other ties in order to get off. So, that's what we're seeing down here. We haven't removed them because lots of little baby corals and other things can attach to them. <laughs> now, that railroad actually still exists. You guys might have driven over it on your way here. It just lays underneath Route 1, which is pretty cool. when a ship named the Ventric. Oh, a big school of these Atlantic pickle tanks, these dory fish here in the front window. Oh. Wow, that's a whole bunch of them. Just chilling, they're beautiful. So back in 1944, um, a ship named the Ventric ran aground out here. And if you guys know where that weird A-frame uh, tower is, which is off to our port stern, that weird tower is sitting in about two feet of water. So back in 1944, when that ship ran aground out here, they were carrying about 136,000 gallons of, can you guess it? Molasses! Yeah! Does anybody want to take a guess at what all that molasses is going to be used for? Rum! Rum! Yes! Oh. <laughs> Got some hearts on board! Yes, it was going to be used for rum. So unfortunately, when all that molasses spilled, it was known as the Great Depression down here because we were in that rum for a while. But all that molasses can actually be smelled seven miles away. That's how they discovered the wreck. Oh, we have a shark. What did you say? No, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Oh, you want to try? Yeah, I know. I wish I, I wish I could just summon them. Um, <laughs> we have quite a few sharks out here, though, actually. Um, not too long ago, actually, just about a week ago, we spotted an eight-foot hammerhead shark out here, wow. which is awesome. I hope you guys would never be afraid to get in the water uh, because of sharks, guys. Uh, I'll give you a few statistics to help put your mind at ease. So in America alone, about 50 people are killed by cows every year. Oh how, many people, how many people are killed by sharks? Less than one, typically. And across wow. the world, out of the 8 billion people that we have entering the waters every year, on average, it's about five people that actually die from shark-related incidents. You are more likely to get killed by falling out of bed, a ballpoint pen. Mosquitoes kill about 655,000 people a year. The vending machines are more dangerous than sharks out here. Pretty crazy. Yeah, now, as long as you guys... Oh, my God! Oh, 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 another lobster? Awesome. He's really brave to be not hiding. He's just walking about. You know, almost everything out here eats those lobsters. So he's either really brave or not very smart. <laughs> now, the most common shark we would have out here is your nurse shark, which kind of looks like a giant catfish. Um, and they're one of the fewest fish that can actually remain on the bottom of the ocean motionless. They don't have to swim to keep breathing. A lot of times during the day, these nurse sharks will tuck their heads in dark areas to try to get some shut eye, essentially. A lot of times what happens is, though, divers come out here and they see a sleeping shark, and for some reason they try to poke it or pull it out of its hole, and they try to get a cool picture with it. Unfortunately, these are wild animals. You really want to make sure that if you come out here, you leave everything alone. Nothing out here is going to mess with you, so long as you leave it alone. Um, honestly, the most dangerous thing out here is you guys, so there's everything you guys can do about it. Keep your eyes open in these sandy patches here, guys, for things like stingrays bedding down. But I have a question for you, especially you kids. Does, do you guys know why a hammerhead shark has such a weird-shaped head? I mean, what is that even for? 
Fucked up, it's a dumbass. Let me make it right, girl. You deserve that. 